Hi everybody. Well, this is a charcoal canister for the emissions system on a Chevy Colorado pickup truck. And this one is the used one that was replaced in the truck. And today we're gonna cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. So let's get started. That's pretty easy. Now it looks like the whole thing is sonic welded or it might be put together in a couple pieces. It looks like this section right here, maybe its own little door that's put on. And this is definitely a seam right here where this cap is put on. So this may be a three piece case with your hose attachments at the bottom. Right here is a mounting point and also two more mounting points right here. So probably the best spot to cut this open is gonna be around this portion of the case. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut on this side of the cap, staying close to the seam. I don't simply wanna cut all the way through. I'm gonna cut around the edge and be careful so that my saw blade doesn't go into the canister too far because I don't know what's inside here and I don't wanna damage it before we get a chance to see what it looks like. So I'll mount it up in the vise and get to cutting. Just gonna use a regular hacksaw. Now it's part of the way through. trick. I'm gonna do it with the bottom. Do it in the bottom way. There we go. Man, that's tough. Okay, so now I'm into it. I gotta figure out how to open it. Well, there's all kinds of these little pellets coming out of it. And a bit crumbly, black powder. I guess that's the charcoal. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's like there's a whole bunch of it in there. Look at that. Well, let's keep cracking at it. There's something right in the middle. Something right here on both sides, not letting this cover come off. So, I think I'm gonna have to get in there and try and cut it. Oh man, it's getting messy now. Almost. Ooh, boy. Yeah, look at that. Man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. A little spring loaded, looks like a foam pad there. Sitting on a spring plate. So if they were sitting in there like that, I wonder if that's how, I wonder if air gets in and out this way. I don't see any. I don't see any seams on it. Maybe it's just a way for it to pass through from one side to the other. Go in one side and out the other. That's probably what this is there for. 
So if that was there, and that was probably sitting like that, you know, a little bit of blackness around the edges where the air was allowed to go around it. Probably sitting in there like that. And you got fumes coming in either this way or this way, whichever way it works. Fumes coming in, filling this side of the charcoal pellets, going through this foam filter underneath of it, crossing over underneath those little vent channels, and coming back up through this side, through the filter, back through here, and then out that tube, or else out that tube. Oh, look at that, that's literally what this is. Wow! Man, look at that. So I've got another filter pad down on each side. It's still pretty heavy, even though it's empty. I wonder if there's more stuff down in there. Whatever's down there is pretty solid. I think this side can come out. Grab a hold of it there. Oh, look at that. It's like a little dividing filter screen. And a whole lot more of them pellets. Look at that. Pellets are actually very light. There's like hardly anything to it. Here we got another one of those pads down there. Well, I think we're gonna have to try and cut this edge off now and see what's behind that. Probably nothing, but went this far, might as well finish it up. It is going to be tricky with all that extra plastic in the way. Almost. If I can't get in there, just snip that off. So it looks like there might be a little valve right there. There's actually nothing on those inlet and outlet tubes. Just a couple of wide open holes. Three of them actually. One for each of these tubes. Okay, and then so it looks like you got these two tubes. Oh, and there's even a little dividing chamber in there. Oh boy, I think that might be, that might be stuck in there. Wow, just pokes right through. Oh, there it goes. Might be glued in. smoke coming out of that. Yuck. Yeah, it looks like that might be glued in or molded into the plastic. 
Yeah, I think that's just molded in. It's got some sort of shape there in the bottom of it. Probably so that the fumes can move around without getting trapped. And this green foam is just, looks like it's actually melted right into the case. So, appears to be the same on this side. Let's try getting that out. There we go. We got a piece of it anyway. Yeah, and that looks to be the same there too. So, I mean, without knowing exactly how the plumbing of the system is supposed to work, it basically looks pretty simple. This was actually sitting like this. Looks like fumes can either go, you know, however it's plumbed. Your fuel vapors will go in one side, pass through the carbon, cross over to the other side, come back down, and then come out one of these two, or vice versa, go in one of these, pass through, and then come out the other one. Whichever way it's plumbed. So there's a look inside of the charcoal canister out of a Chevy Colorado pickup. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.